Fireballs from space, like the one over Ontario, put on an otherworldly display when they enter our atmosphere. In 2008, a police cruiser's dashboard camera captures this fireball descending over Canada. And in 2010, amateur video captures this fireball over Wisconsin. But one of the most widely seen meteorite falls in recent history was this fireball over Peekskill, New York. It fell on October 9th, 1992, and was seen by thousands in the eastern US. Peekskill fireball was an excellent example of a really bright fireball occurring over a populated area on a Friday night when there were lots of football games going on. And so there were about uh, over a dozen videographers who happened to catch images of this fireball as it was passing over the East Coast. Moments after lighting up the sky, a 28-pound space rock slammed into the back of this Chevy Malibu. That just came out of nowhere. 16 different people capture the fireball on their camcorders. But I got it on tape. But when it comes to recovering meteorites, amateur video can't replace the precision of a fireball camera network. Casual video data is certainly valuable, but you're going to get a lot more information from a sort of dedicated camera network that's set up with the intent of seeing these bright fireballs that, that are produced. Brown captured the 2009 Ontario fireball on seven strategically placed cameras. It's looking to be the best documented meteorite fall to date. If he can recover the freshly fallen space rock, it could provide a wealth of new information about the origins of our world. But the camera data is only the first piece of the puzzle in detecting the meteorite's location. When the fireball arrives, the four infrasound elements detect the sound it makes when it impacts the atmosphere. Meteors, when they enter the atmosphere, are moving much faster than the speed of sound, so they generate a shock wave when they enter the atmosphere. This is the actual sound arriving from the fireball. Fireballs can make some audible sound when they arrive on Earth, but infrasound is below the range of human hearing. These sensors are designed to detect it. A large shock wave means a high-energy fireball. The camera tells us that the fireball is moving 21 kilometers a second, and the infrasound tells us that the mass must have been about 50 to 100 kilograms. That's the equivalent of a 220-pound chunk of cement hurtling to Earth at more than 45,000 miles per hour. 